All right, and for our last topic for this course, we are going to discuss how to make pivot tables. So you may have heard of it before. Pivot tables are used to analyze your data, look for information coming from raw data like this. So if you have been following this through our course, you can download this from our resources tab. Look for sheet one. And what we have here is raw data of a certain company probably which contains sale date branch item and sales amount let's say you want to find out what branch has the highest sales and among those branches what item has the highest revenue so you could do that manually if you want you could process the data on your own but why would you do that do that manually if you could just use pivot tables so to start I will click any one cell in my data, go to insert, and then on the leftmost part of insert, you should see there pivot table. Again, the pivot table button may appear right after you click insert. You don't have to click tables over here. Maybe it's already on the leftmost tab. My screen is compressed, so it's showing here under tables. If your screen is not compressed, the pivot table button should automatically show up on the leftmost part of your tab. So I now have the create pivot table dialog box. At this point, there's really nothing much you have to do in the create pivot table dialog box. You just have to determine if you want the pivot table in a new worksheet or in an existing worksheet. So better if I'm going to use new worksheet because I want it to look nice you know not a lot of mess in my worksheet so I'll just start a new worksheet with the pivot table click OK and now you have the create pivot table dialog box gone and you now have the fields over here and the pivot table field on the left now as you could see what we have here on the right side are the fields sale date branch item and sales Note that these are the same fields that we have in the raw data. Sale date, branch, item, sales. Same fields, sale date, branch, item, sales. All of them are represented in our pivot table. Now, very simple. I want to find the total sales per branch. So I can bring branch. As you could see, I, all you have to do is just drag branch, okay, drag it down, and then bring it here in the rows field. And your pivot should automatically update, showing you the branches in the raw data, this one. So three provinces in the Philippines. I could also bring it here under columns there's nothing wrong with that however your data will be arranged in a columnar way like a table doesn't look nice it's not wrong but that's not what we need so instead I will bring branch over here so that the branches are arranged in rows finally the numbers are brought to us by the sales column so therefore I will bring the sales field over here in the values field and now my data is summarized so for this certain province Cebu the sales is 239,950 Davao 228143 and for Manila it's 272,977 you did not you do not have to do any calculations pivot table automatically did that for you you could add more fields if you want Let's say, if you remember, when we started this demonstration, I also want to find out what item has the highest sales among those branches. So I could bring item over here under columns and pivot table updates into columnar items showing you a breakdown of the items per location. By the way, just in case it happens to you like this, I lost my field, I lost my pivot table pane. Just click any cell inside the pivot table and the pivot table field should automatically show up again. Now, 
You could rearrange it if you want. I could bring item below here under branch. And you now have branches broken down into their items. Same information but different orientation or different look or different arrangement. So you could just keep changing them. As long as the sales remain here in the various field, you'll be fine. Remember that sales contains the dates, sorry, the numbers or the amounts to be added. So therefore, they are under values field. Now, there are other things you could do in your pivot table. For example, you could also use slicers. So slicers are found here under the analyze tab. Just make sure to click any cell in the pivot. The analyze tab is a contextual tab. It doesn't show up when the pivot table is not active. So I will click any one cell in the pivot and watch here in this area. And as you could see, the analyze tab showed up together with the design tab because they are all related to the pivot table. So I'll go to the analyze tab. And then under analyze tab, you should have their insert slicer. And let's make a slicer. Let's say the branch. Click OK. And we now have a slicer for our pivot table. What is this? Slicers make your report interactive. So for example, I only want Manila to show up. Then if you have a slicer, just click it. And the data is now sliced. The slicer will show you what data you want to see based on what you clicked. Simple as that. Or if you, if you want everything to show up again, just click here on the red X and all the data showed up. So that's what pivot tables are. And that's it. Again, let me just uh, repeat the steps. Going back to the cells, to the data, just click any one cell. Insert pivot table. There's nothing much you do here in the create pivot table dialog dialog box. Just click OK. And then just drag the fields that you want. Say I want the branch here. Below them, I want the item. And then sales. Sales contains the numbers. We'll bring them here under values. And your pivot table is now ready. Again, you could drag, for example, instead of the branch first below item, I could change it. I could make the item go first. And the item is now here on top. Below them are the branches as what we indicated here in the fields.